Welcome to Live Foot TV at the right place. So let's start. Don't go nowhere. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. Bless the love and greetings, my viewers and subscribers, kings and queens, lion and lioness. Big up on yourself, anyone in there, and I will love and blessings in life is the greatest. Cherish each moment. Saying, I hope you all had a good Christmas yesterday with your loved ones, families, friends, kids. You know what I mean? If you celebrate it or not, big up on yourself. You get what I say, give thanks to life. Yeah, man, if you get your present or if you don't get nothing or, you know, you get what you want and you know, I wish for. Big up on yourself. Be grateful. Say, yes, man, you don't know my viewers and subscribers. So, coming up in this episode, um, you know, promoter from Canada, producer, promoter, you know what I mean? Break silence, speaks her mind, you know what I mean? Yes. Um, and a lot of topics are going she in support of Shabarangs and Sizzler. You get me? So she addressed quite a few topics. And um, I'm going to hear what she has said, but I don't know. First, I want to warn you all about the profanities. I try to cut out some of them, but I couldn't cut out all of them. See? Yeah, man, and I don't know. Lionfoot say, no offense to no one who find this offensive or disrespectful. Lionfoot is not here to disrespect anyone. I don't know. We just have put what's out there or what's been asked to put out there. You see me? Only can comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. You see, but before we get to that, my viewers and subscribers, I want you to check out that shoes here. Drip Suave. Zine, created by Red, Red Snapper. You know what I mean? Lisa, Lisa um, from Ota, Canada. There, you see me? Yeah, so you can order online and it will deliver right at your door. Zine? Yeah, man, so check out the shoes online. We're going to leave the link in the comment section. So when you, when you can click one go up on the website and thing, you know what I mean? Me, me actually like the shoes them still, but I don't know if I wear them because I know me a clerks man still, but I like the design and the colours. You see it? Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So with no delay, hear what um this lady has to say. Hear what Lisa has to say, you know what I mean? Re relating to a lot of topics. You know, she also mentioned that she used to take the Mali as well and what Mali does to you and you know so forth. So as I said, listen and let me know what you think in the comment section. Say, big up on yourself. Everybody want to gang up on Shabba Ranks? I need to fuck off. Shabba Ranks is better than every one of those artists that are talking shit about him. And been in the music long before them, too. So they all need to shut the fuck up and listen to the master when it comes to music. And you know Mr. Vegas is a wash-up. He's a wash-up. Piece of shit. Just like Cargo. Fucking wash up. And now a piece of shit. A bounty killer is going to be soon a wash up and a piece of shit. Hey man. He's in fucking prison. He's no good for nothing. Remember, he's a fucking murderer. Shabba ranks has got the best fucking music in his music that he's put out since the 80s will never go out of style it'll never be played out either nobody in no fucking party would tell no dj to stop playing shot because we're tired of him no fucking dj will ever hear that from anybody that listens to shaba ranks music and as far as him when he's talking about artists, talking about guns, see, ass, skin, molly, taking the mollies, yeah, molly kills people, makes people fucking, it eats your fucking brains, it eats your damn brains and puts holes in your head, the fuck, here in Canada, me personally, I used to take mollies, I only a half a fucking pill, and I did it for about two years and I stopped because when you're coming down from Molly's you get major heartburn you have to take these fucking roll aids it you feel like blah and you don't you can't sleep when you're on Molly's either there's no sleeping look at Skang how he's acting now he can't even talk properly his brain will soon be fucking mashed potatoes and holes in his fucking brain yeah, you can see what happens to Skang, to Skang. And, it, and he gets to boost that fucking music. Man, that's stupid. Stupid. No DJ plays gun song unless it's underground music. 
No DJ can play C ass, suck my songs, nothing. Suck my C songs, they can't play that shit. Especially on air, on the radio, or online, none of that shit. But yet they want to play Molly's. Talking about something that kills people. Makes people can go down from having a normal brain down to a, a fucking newborn baby's brain. Man, that's stupid. Yeah, everybody knows it's me. CEO Red Snapper Promotion Records. CEO Red Snapper Promotion and Management Team. You know, I speak just like Pretty Dawn. Pretty Dawn's right. When she does her blogging and the way she speaks, she speaks the truth, facts. Oh, Lionfoot TV. Let me get it right. Lionfoot TV. You know who I am. Can't believe these old men have the nerve to talk about a man that's older than them. And has been in music longer than them. And every song he's ever made has made him something. He's a Grammy Award winner more than once. And no, he didn't have to sign his soul to Illuminati to do none of that. And Lionfoot TV, can you please tell the artist to stop singing songs with DJ Khaled and the other idiots from America that are part of the Illuminati clan, cult, demon worshippers. They talk about God, but they're not God's people. can demons. DJ Khaled is not the same DJ Khaled they knew from back when he was younger. He is an Illuminati member. He's a bisexual freak. Been getting fucked in the ass by P. Diddy and other rappers for the past 15 fucking years. Do you ever wonder why he's walking around like he's got jello ass? That's the reason why. Because his booty's become a pussy hole. And nobody's talking about how DJ Khaled had all those fucking bad boys of bisex freaks. And that lesbian singing on that album and didn't bother to tell Sizzla that don't like them fucking people. Didn't bother to tell him. And had him singing on the album. And then turn around and put his fucking face on the album. DJ Khaled's face and his kids on the album. His face shouldn't have been on that damn album. Either is his fucking kids should have been on that fucking album at all. So Sizzla had every right destroying that shit. Remember, I'm a producer. And I would never do that. Put my face on a fucking album. That's stupid. Okay, my viewers and subscribers, let me know what you think of um, you know, Lisa's rant. Or, um, yeah, in the comment section. I you know, don't know. Sorry if anyone is, is offended or if find this offensive. <laughs> Disrespectful, but I saw you go at the vlogging world, isn't it? But yeah. Um, one point where she said, I must tell people to stop work with DJ Khalid. No, so many of them powers there, and I would never do that, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so you don't know, you know, I would never tell nobody enough advice I work with that person. Unless them do me wrong, I mean, no, say, the person who will work with that person will do me wrong, I would have try one of them, yes, but yeah, me can't tell nobody enough to work with Khalid, you see me? <coughs> I'm nowhere in that league, you see me? <laughs> yes, and the next thing we like to is where she, um, she share her sentiments of, about taking the Mali. You know, she share her personal experience, what it does. Ah. And you can see it's not good for your health. And there's nothing good to be taken. So, let me know what you think my viewers and subscribers. I don't know, Lionfoot, you know, I'm out. I'm gone. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching Lionfoot TV.